Hello YouTube, Sort of Smarter, episode 3 of Junk Mail. I have a ton of it to get through today, so we are just going to try to blaze through this. I have a lot of stuff that we've been getting off of AliExpress and a little bit off of eBay, but I will put the descriptions down below. I think I might have got the hyperlinks figured out so that the descriptions won't be so long. I apologize for those. We're just I'm new at this, just trying to get this figured out. And uh sort of smarter as it says. So uh we'll see what uh we'll see what we can do. So uh this one has no description. This one is my noisy cat wanting outside. Oh, this one, this one is interesting. This one is a composite bodied LED, nine LED fog lights off of, uh, for my, uh, and there's they're sealed relatively decent construction they're supposed to be nine watts I assume one watt per LED one two three four five six seven eight and nine and uh, forgive my noisy cat he's distraught because I'm not letting him outside but I would like to put brighter LEDs in this and uh, yeah we're not going to tear it open today but that's the idea is to crack this seal open on here and uh, change out the LEDs on their circuits I can see that several of them aren't centered already this bead's pushed off to the side this one's pushed off to the side so it could use a little quality control to start with. The sealant's not cleaned up off the side of it. It was a very cheap, cheap light set. I'm not expecting a whole lot of uh, QC out of this, but uh, all plastic, kind of a composite body on the back of it. Don't expect a lot of heat sinking out of it, but uh, yeah, something to play with on that one. I'll do a video on that as well when uh, we're changing the, uh, the LEDs off of uh, off of those. Uh, let's get this one. I think I know what this one is. Let's see if I can really tape this one shut. Some of these products that come from China, they are very creative with their packaging. They, uh, I don't know if it's because they make, there's a slight profit margin on their end when they charge shipping or not. Um, sometimes there's free shipping, but sometimes there's a, there's a, uh, you know, a dollar shipping charge and a dollar in China goes a long way. So this one is labeled cable sleeve. But I think I think oh, sorry, out of frame there. I think this is my large This is a uh, 
hundred and hundred and five millimeter um, heat shrink for putting around a large battery pack. I'm gonna do a um, a forty eight volt battery pack. I'm seeing if they put the, I don't remember what the dimensions were on it, but I needed a, oh, there it is, 208, 208 millimeter, or 280 millimeter. So this will fit all the way around the whole battery pack and then uh, heat gun it, heat shrink it down. All right, on the next one. This one is labeled, 10 active buzzers. Oh, I think these are just 5 volt little circuit pigzo buzzers. You know, I think it's time to get a sharper knife. Yep. These are just a little, uh, little 12 millimeter, five volt. They got the little, uh, tape over the top of them so that when you, the positive pin marking on it, so when you slaughter them down to the circuit and wash the board, it doesn't get in the water in the, inside the speaker. No biggie there. What do we got here? Electronic module. It's a nice styrofoam box, kind of like the last video that had the module. Okay, that is an awfully big styrofoam box. Very well protected. These are just the leads. If you remember in the previous video of the junk mail, We had the, uh, where is it, this guy, I think it was this guy, and No, it wouldn't be for this one. This is for a different module. But never mind. I digress. Anyway, yeah, these are, yeah. So why would you, why would you waste the money putting leads, plastic to, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. It was free shipping. Not my dime. Very fancy package. Sometimes they overship stuff, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they package it so crappy you're amazed that it even made it here. This is an LED light because my laptop, I cannot read at night. The keyboard. And I would like and my laptop's old and they don't sell. I can't seem to find a lit uh, USB or a lit uh, replacement keyboard for mine anymore. So this is a uh, supposedly the answer 
to that. But uh, do I have a USB uh, power supply around here somewhere? Okay, so I'm back. Let's see if this USB power bank has any charge to it. And, uh, oh, there we go. Sorry for swamping out the camera there. But yeah, my idea is this was cheap. I think this uh, this little light was, uh, I think, a dollar. And uh, I would like at night to uh, plug it into my computer so that my old eyes can see the keyboard. Uh, this is flashlight and torches. See what this is. Let's see. Yeah. Yes, Zoro. Everybody hears you. This is da -da -da. I don't suppose they put batteries in it, did they? Nope. Let's see if I have... Are these double A's or triple A's? Well... They look like triple A's. Kind of. You can see that at all? That, uh, too much light going here. Turn that off. That is, uh, well, that's kind of cool. It looks white on the camera, but that is actually ultraviolet, uh, purple. Very dark purple on the, to my eyes. Very, very dimly glowing. Um, I can barely see that light, but on the camera, through it looks white. And, uh, yeah, that's why I can't, uh, I almost can't see that spot unless I look in the camera. So, yeah. This is an ultraviolet uh, light. I got some uh, glue that needs uh, curing by ultraviolet. So, let's see. This one is description light. Oh, another light. Must have been one of those late nights orderings. This is a 12 volt uh, uh, cob light. I got some. Uh, this is supposedly waterproof. Does not look very waterproof. The housing. It's got some double back sticky tape here and it's really chintzy. Oops wiring right here. They haven't pulled the wiring through very well there. And uh well I kind of do. Let's uh let's see what that looks like. That is a lot of LEDs. Hmm. Huh. 
Yeah, so we'll, uh, I think that was supposed to be a warm white when I ordered that. That does not look like a warm white, but we'll see. We'll check the description on that one. All right, this next one. This one, description, module. Why they tape this one for my own protection? What do I got here? What do I got here? This is that module I ordered. This one here came with absolutely one of the best reviews I've seen Big Clive, BigClive.com give. And he raved about this. Here's the ACN. This is the, I believe this is a 12 volt DC out. I'll have to check the specs on that one. I can't remember exactly. And I think this is a I think this might be a I think this might be a three amp this might be a a, a a two amp output but he raved about this one as far as the choke isolation the fuse the separation uh, the filtering I'm not going to go into all the details on this one I'll put the link down below. I'll give you a quick view on this just so that you can see on here. Focus. There's the. Just for a good general purpose power supply. Small, low power. And uh, so I decided to get one of those and try it out myself. See if uh, see if I had the same results as Big Clive did. This one is labeled RC parts. Oh, yeah, this is the uh, XT60 connectors, but these are 12 gauge um, pre tin 12 gauge uh, plug-in connectors, high current with a very uh, multi-strand uh, 200C rated uh, connectors so uh, and uh, very good very high quality and uh, so I'll put the link for that down below as well uh, let's see what is this one labeled as do, 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 do. integrated circuit This is, oh, this is my assortment of inductors. Can't read Chinese, but I can figure out that this is uh, 68 micro Henry's, 33 micro Henry's, 220, 10 micro Henry's, 680, 330, 1 millihenry. 10 micro Henry, 1.5 millihenries. 
So these are all higher power. I think these are one amp. I'll have to check the specs on them again. Just for my stock, to fill up my stock again. Uh, replace stock. Build stock up. Whatever you want to call it. Do -do -do. This one. It says USB charger. Oh, this is supposed to be a Qualcomm uh, USB charger. Focus. There we go. Qualcomm Quick Charge. As you can see, it has uh, three standard ports and then one QC3 charge port. The Quick Charge port uh, is supposed to be an intelligent charge port. It, you plug it in, and the circuitry self-identifies between uh, five volts, nine volts, and twelve volts, and it deciphers what uh, what device you've hooked up onto it, and it will decide if it's going to charge. Uh, 1.5 volts at 12 volts, uh, 1. Point, or excuse me, 1.5 amps at 12 volts, 1.8 amps at 9 volts, or uh, up to uh, I think it's uh, 1.5 amps at 5 volts. I think it'll be 2.1 amps at 5 volts on that one socket as well. But uh, it will do a combination of full capacity at 7 amps total out of the socket. So uh, we will have to give that a test run and see what, uh, just because uh, my phone uh, does the smart charging. And uh, from full dead to full charge uh, with a smart charger, it'll, uh, it'll take it about uh, 30 minutes. So nice to have that charger but I'm going to tear that apart and build that into something else uh, this one calls them ICs these are KBPC 5010s these are just uh, full bridge rectifiers uh, 10 amp full metal body Potted, nice, uh, nice metal body. Focus. There we go. And uh, more future projects. Um, you saw in the first mail mailbag, I had the uh, uh, the winding, the electrical wire, the enamel wire for the transformer build. That's also for part of that. So getting more of those pieces. What do we got here? This one's listed in LM350T. Oh, these are just voltage regulators, high current, uh, high current voltage regulators. Don't know if that qualifies as an anti-static package. I think this guy must have spent 10 minutes wrapping that. So there we got uh, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, 10 of the LM350T in the TO220 package. Um, what do we got here? Electronic parts. Very, very detailed description. Oh, my laser pointers. Laser pointer, the drivers. More, more late night projects. This one label screws. 
Oh, yes. Well, if you watched me in that second video with the uh, the Franken LED, I had to cut. Uh, had some problems with those longer Allen screws, so uh, I decided to. I have a couple more of those LEDs I need to get built off. I decided I would be a little smarter about it, and uh, for a dollar, easier just to order. Uh, Some shorter, whoop, some shorter stainless steel screws. All right, next. This one's labeled nothing. Mystery package. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, oh, my screen! Oh, they packed one. That was a nice little box. This is, uh... This is my OLED. I see squared, uh... OLED. Very tiny. And the pinouts and it comes in a very nice protective little case. I like that. Alright, what do we have here? Switch. Oh, this is the USB switch. Oh, you know what? This one I've seen on um, a, a bigger version of this one from uh, Julian Let videos. I love watching his videos. Oh, look at the blue. Well, now that's interesting. It doesn't, uh... That socket doesn't seem to... Well, you know, you get cheap Chinese stuff, and you seem to have a dodgy contact inside that, uh... It's probably a, just a bad, uh... Probably just a bad solder connection inside there. Right here. Uh, two pin, uh... Two pin headers. Whole bag of fifty of them. Oop. Just the screw terminals. Whole bag of them. This one's labeled diodes. I need a bigger mat. These are my lights, LEDs. I'm uh wow. These are the uh Oh, I 
can't remember the size of these. These are these, uh, the LEDs that go on these guys here. Focus. So, I uh, built a few of these things, and uh, they uh, are kind of like this. There we are. There's a done one. And a uh, little resistor. And uh, there are two in parallel, and then two in series, two in parallel, two in series. So series parallel, series parallel. And uh, they're cheap. I get, uh, I don't remember, 200 of these things for 88 cents. So it's like a dollar sixty for four hundred of these LEDs. Get bored night. Like Big Clive with his playing with his LEDs on Christmas lights. Although I don't like converting Christmas lights like Clive does. Resistors. Uh, these are just uh, pop resistors just to adjust the. Uh, Just adjustable. Pots. Let's get more. What's this one? This one's a module. More modules. Oh, okay. So that's just stupid. I mean, they put it in an anti-static bag. That's not what I'm complaining about. They, it's the same shipper. Wow, that screen. chipped a glass on that screen. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be okay. I'm going to have to fire that up and make sure that thing... Uh... <sighs> yeah, so they'll... That was the same supplier for these... for these as this. Yet they sent the they sent these in this box. Wouldn't it have made more sense to send this in that box? I think someone's a little backwards at their desk. But uh hey I don't make the rules. Maybe they, maybe it's different in China. You know, so let's see if I let's see if I have a nine volt battery here. Let's see if let's see if a dollar store battery fires this thing up. Doctor. It seems to be working. You know what? Let's zoom in on that a little bit for you guys. Put 
put that across one and two. Five ohms at they want point oh oh five micro henries or millihenries. Well, they say that that's uh, forty seven micro henries. Well, let's try a different one and see. Maybe I'm out of its range. There's probably a calibration for this too. Yeah, I think these inductors must be too big. Well, we'll save that for another video. We'll go through and figure out what's up with that. The screen's not broken though, so that's good. Good to know. Onward. What do we have here? Power monitor. Oh, yes. This is that uh, 48 volt um, That 48 volt battery that uh, I was telling you I wanted to build. Uh, S3 for the electric bike. This is the uh, this is the monitor for it. These are the programming buttons for it. And, uh, so that's a different video. That came really fast, actually. is LED diodes. Ah! These are the 3 watt LED diodes for the uh, for those fog lights. We're going to try mount it to the heat sink. 6000 Let's see, this one is labeled glass cup. I don't remember ordering a glass cup for anything. That's the super glue for the ultraviolet light. I already call that a glass cup. You know, I think that's to get by the uh, customs thing again. This one is labeled Z317. I wonder if customs ever looks at this stuff.
Oh, this again is, uh... Yeah, because this is, uh, Sinoacrylate. And this is, uh... Oh, this is Sinoacrylate. This is just regular super glue. This is the, uh, UV... Uh, UV glue for the... Well, they both came at the same time. This one has no... Oh, heavy. No identifier. Oh, this is, uh, nice. This is my quick release mount. For my DSLR. Very nice. That's a very nice, oops, sorry, got a frame. So this is a quick release uh, mount for my DSLR. And it has uh, a set lock. So that's got, that's very nice. It's very, very nice. I like that. This one, integrated circuit, integrated circuit. Oh dear God, I'm not gonna be able to read that. That says 4N25. Oh. It's an opto isolator. It's a six pin, six pin opto isolator. I know what that is. So, I know. I've been waiting for those. Oh, just some uh, cheap. Uh, Really cheap, one gig USB flash drives. I got some stuff from selling that on eBay that has some memory drive that goes with it, and that I'll load that on those. I think those are like two dollars. What do we got here? We have some LM358P op amps. Just universal. Ten of them. Nice to see that they put them in some static bags. And, uh, all right, last but not least, I think it's the last one. Anything else around my feet? These are labeled. Nothing. These are... Oh. Boy, these took forever to get here. Just some cheap... freaking quarter watt stack of resistors. Is there a date on here? I think I ordered these things like three months ago. Matter of fact, I think I even complained to them about it. Now, 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 now. There's no date on the package. Of course not. Yeah, I think I even complained. Matter of fact, I think I uh, may have. I think they may have even refunded me the money on that. I think they were like two dollars. 
But yeah, these are just cheap uh, metal film quarter watt resistors. Nothing special. So, that is today's junk mail. Lots and lots of junk. And uh, I think we better get building something before this stuff takes me over. Anyway, alright YouTube. Uh, oh, I should probably zoom out on that. And uh, there's a collection of what we have today. And uh, I will see you in a future video. Take care. See you guys next time. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And uh, any suggestions, I welcome them. Positive, negative. Don't be quite such an ass. And uh, we'll see you next time.